Today's news! Today's news! Sponsored by Pfizer and BioNTech. I'm Monica Ricks in New York, and millions of people are now bracing for a brutal winter storm. Stay ahead of the snow, because I think we'll be getting a lot more of it. So, two steps forward, one step back, with it still going down. That woman's in Minnesota, but states across the Upper Plains and Upper Midwest could get up to two feet of snow before this storm heads east. Down south, tornadoes are still a big threat. CBS meteorologist David Parkinson. Places like Baton Rouge and New Orleans need to be on the lookout for tornadoes. You also need to watch out for them in places like Mobile and Gulfport and Biloxi. At least three people died in a tornado that ripped through Louisiana. The Federal Reserve made a half percentage point increase today, but says it'll keep pushing rates up to bring prices down. The best thing to do as a consumer is to really prepare for these rates to be higher. CBS News than. business analyst Jill Schlesinger says the Fed will continue raising rates in the new year, but not as much. While the increases may be less, Powell has signaled he's willing to keep interest rates high well into 2023. We will stay the course until the job is done. For Powell, that means getting in Inflation down from 7% to just 2%. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Lawmakers say they've nailed down the framework on a final spending bill to avoid a government shutdown later this week. CBS's Scott McFarland is on Capitol Hill. There's much more to do, but the framework means they have a top-line number. They know the likely overall cost of this plan to fund the government, about $800 billion in military spending, and about $1.5 trillion for the overall federal government. The deadline to pass a stopgap bill is midnight on Friday. It has been 10 years now since the mass shooting in Newtown, Connecticut. CBS's Steve Futterman takes a look back. 20 students, ages 6 and 7, were killed, along with 6 adults. You can't imagine anyone would hurt little, little children. And it could have been worse. There were many stories of children lucky to escape. Our friend's brother got out because he went through the back door. Today in Newtown, the flags will fly at half-staff. People are celebrating in France right now as their team beat Morocco today for a spot in the World Cup Finals. France now takes on Argentina in the title match on Sunday. 25 more movies will be preserved by the National Film Registry in Washington. This year's picks include Iron Man, The Little Mermaid, and 1989 rom-com, When Harry Met Sally. I'll have what she's having. We all know the scene. The registry is housed at the Library of Congress, and it picks movies for preservation based on their cultural and historic importance. This year's picks bring the total number of films in the registry to 850. This is CBS News. This well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cab News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.